Technical University of Sofia is the largest engineering education and research center in Bulgaria, providing training in a wide range of engineering specialties. The scope of research and development done at the university is diverse and contributes to the national and international technology transfer. More than 150,000 engineers have graduated the Technical University of Sofia over its 75 years of history. The research and development sector of the Technical University of Sofia has the infrastructure, the scientific potential and the network of partners that are needed for the management and the successful implementation of diverse research and development projects. In the research and development laboratories at the Technical University of Sofia, a great deal of scientific research and innovative engineering development is being carried out with important practical application in different areas of our lives. The laboratories of the Technical University of Sofia, led by the research and development sector, offer a wide variety of opportunities for cooperation between partner universities and industrial companies in national and international research projects, training of engineers and PhD students, and job opportunities for gaining work experience in solving practical solutions. The coordinate measurements in Mechanical Engineering Laboratory has a highly accurate measurement equipment with relevant calibration certificates such as a laser tracker for non-contact measurements of large objects, a mobile coordinate measuring hand with a laser scanning head, coordinate measuring machines, laser interferometer, laser centering systems and many others. The research and development activities of the laboratory are mainly focused on solving complex metrological problems in the field of geometric measurements of linear and angular magnitudes. Therefore, the laboratory team has many developments, multiple patents, including a unique customized measurement system based on a virtual axis of large-scale objects. The more notable international projects include work on building three linear accelerators. The first, is the National Large Heavy Ion Accelerator, GANIL, in Caen, a major French research center for fundamental research in atomic physics, astrophysics, material science and radiobiology, and in particular to the international project SPIRAL-2, conducted by several European laboratories for the constructions of ultra-frequency linear electrons and protons accelerator. The Technical University of Sofia has developed the geometry of the modules and systems and metrological verification of the vacuum cameras and the bearing elements. The second is the world's largest linear, high-frequency accelerator at Deutsches Elektronen Synchroton, or DESI, in Hamburg, Germany, where is based one of the largest European international research centers and one of the world's leading institutions investigating the structure of the matter. The Technical University of Sofia research team participated in the project by building the geometry of the modules and systems to develop new linear accelerator. The European X-ray Free Electron Razor, or XFEL. The third linear accelerator is part of the Nucleotron-based Ion Collider facility in Dubna, Russia. The new accelerator complex is designed to study properties of dense baryonic matter. The laboratory has framework contract with the High Energy Physics Laboratory. In the academic center near Moscow, an own circular nuclear particle accelerator has been created and it became part of the research complex in 2016. The Scanning Electron Microscopy Laboratory specializes in the development of new nanostructured materials, micro and nanocomposite materials on metal bases with metal matrix. The main projects on which the laboratory works are related to the study of unique wear-resistant nanocoatings for various metals or their alloys. The laboratory is equipped with last-generation scanning electron microscope which makes possible the structural analysis and development of new materials. 
In 2018, Center for Excellence, called National Center for Mechatronics and Pure Technologies, was established. Within the framework of this project, 16 more laboratories are to be built at the Technical University of Sofia, based together in order to achieve a synergy effect. At present, in the field of virtual engineering, there is a laboratory for 3D technologies and rapid prototyping. The laboratory has the unique for the Balkan Peninsula three-dimensional processing of all metal structures, including dental implants and implants for the human body. It conducts research and teaching in the field of new product development through 3D technologies for modeling, design, digital production, validation and product testing through virtual engineering methods. The laboratory is equipped with unique for the Bulgaria 3D printers for polymers and the only 3D printer in Bulgaria for metal. As a result of the laboratory's research and development achievements, human lives have been saved. In 2015, a new laboratory cluster was opened at the University Science and Research Complex of Innovation and Knowledge Transfer in the field of micro and nanotechnology and materials, energy efficiency and virtual engineering, including the first building in Bulgaria with close to zero energy consumption. This is the University Science and Research Complex building, Block 8 of the Technical University, which is an energy efficiency laboratory. In the building are designed and implemented heating, ventilation and cooling systems with two renewable energy sources, providing the necessary comfort for reducing the required energy 15 times for a 69 renewable energy sources share. Experimental site for research of renewable energy sources technologies which is built on an area of 3.5 decres and is designed to research systems for transformation and utilization of energy from renewable sources. Installations Automated weather station Three systems for studying of the thermal conversion of solar energy Three systems for studying of the energy conversion of solar energy Earth soil heat conversion system A system for testing heat pumps with radiation vaporizers Passive house for simultaneous examination of six types of passive building envelope elements. The activity of the laboratory high voltage technique is aimed at solving practical problems of the energy industry. The laboratory is equipped with installations to study and measure large-scale elements such as transformers, circuit breakers, etc. with high impulse voltage and high alternating voltage. Among the most important projects which are being used in the laboratory are Research for isolations coordination of system electrical substations in electrical system Diagnostics of electrical equipment and, in particular, diagnostics of rotating electrical machines and diagnostics of power transformers Examine the ultra-high voltage crown Other studies are aimed at crown effect influence on technology costs the laboratory has good cooperation with the energy and system operator. The laboratory teleinfrastructure was created as a result of the successful E-Wall project under the 7th framework program with a three-year term covering a large consortium of universities and leading companies such as Hewlett-Packard, Ericsson and others. The project is in the field of e-health and was successfully completed in 2016. Another direction that is studied in the laboratory is spectrum tracking. A long-term cooperation with a German company is established during the project. The team working in the lab has a number of development in the field of spectrum monitoring, cognitive radio networks and more. The main areas of science that the lab team focuses on include computer vision, next generation communication systems, new generations of communication networks, in this field, the lab has an international name and maintains and develops a lot of links with research centers in Europe. The lab has good business connections and companies are looking for the team of laboratory experts to solve some tasks that require pure research. In addition to PhD students in summer, in the lab students also work on internships. Research Laboratory Milara Center for Robotics and Automation was established jointly between the Technical University of Sofia, the branch in Plovdiv and Milara International. The center has modern equipment in the field of robotics, automation, 
and intelligent management, provided with the initial support of Milara Company and subsequent funding from scientific projects. It has a scientific team from the Department of Management Systems, which is actively involved in scientific research. Since the opening of the center, the team has gained three projects funded by the National Science Fund. The center equipment includes Milara Diamond H1, H3, H4, industrial handling, Mobile Robot IE Robot create for navigations of autonomous mobile robots in a shared environment. Mobile Holonomic Platform Kuka UBOT. Mobile Robots EPUC for collective robotics. Robot Management Information Multi Agent Systems. Quadrocopter Drone AR Drone. Space Coordinate Tracking and Body Orientation Monitoring Device Paul Hamos Patriot. Specialized NI Robo Rear Control Module used for programming and control of robot manipulators. The research laboratory Aircraft Aerodynamics is equipped with a unique for the country aerodynamic complex designed for experimentation research of aerodynamic aircraft. The main element of this complex is an aerodynamic tube with an open working section with a cross-sectional dimension of 6 100 by 400 mm and a maximum flow velocity of 15 meters per second. Measurement of aerodynamic forces and moments is performed by means of an internal six-component tensiometric balance and measurement equipment. The flow parameters can also be measured by scanning the speed field in a plane perpendicular to the axis of the pipe by a coordinate mechanism that positions the sensor. Thus, it is possible to measure and visualize, for example, the extreme whirlwinds formed by the wing of an airplane. The laboratory can test both pilot and unmanned aircraft models. A 3D printer is used to develop models using a carbon fiber reinforced polymer. Air propellers can also be tested in the aerodynamic complex in Plovdiv. And for this purpose, a specialized measurement stand is installed in the working part of the pipe. In this way, all propeller performance can be determined both on the ground and in flight. The activity in the organization and management of Automobile Transport Laboratory is focused on the study, modeling and analysis of the processes related to the organization and traffic safety, the technical operation in the road transport, the impact of vehicles on the environment and the problems arising from these processes. The established laboratory helps to improve research in the field of road transport, which will lead to their implementation in specific developments for traffic improvements. The activities of the laboratory are provided by leading specialists in the field of road transport, automation, information and control equipment, communications and video technologies from the Faculty of Transport, Faculty of Automation and Faculty of Telecommunications. The projects in the laboratory are related to traffic organizations and in particular include developments as a methodology and criterion for selecting the type of pedestrian path, methodology and criterion for converting a conventional junction into a circular one, methods and algorithms for determining the duration of the traffic light cycle were investigated. Other projects are focused on the assessment of traffic parameters and in particular the speeds of traffic in the city of Sofia are determined, driving speed and waiting times when switching to circular junctions, number of moving vehicles are determined by hours of the day, assessment of transport flows from the main entrances and exits of Sofia. The activity of modeling and design pr prototyping laboratory is aimed at creating the most favorable conditions for research development and projects in the wide field of industrial design. The projects in the laboratory are oriented exclusively to practical results in the field of design and in particular in the development of real products. The lab has a 3D printer that can produce real models of the projects being worked on. There is also a ceramic atelier and ceramic oven in the laboratory. The team that works in the lab consider for significant those projects that lead to real prototype or product. The prototype of electric car, prototypes of various furniture and ceramics have been developed in the laboratory. The team is proud of their participation in an international festival in Prague 
Architecture Week 2016, where they presented models of two projects, which were highly assessed. They are presented with some of the world's most famous architects and designers sharing a common poster with Foster and partners. According to the head of the laboratory, the university is a very suitable place to create an environment for building a good connection between science and business. The lab work in the field of industrial design involves contacts with partners from different fields. The university cooperates with business representatives, thus providing employment opportunities for graduates, as well as career development as engineers and researchers. This wide range of expertise and available research infrastructure at European and world level allows the university to support the development of leading Bulgarian and foreign companies from Europe, Asia and America. Among the more notable industrial partners of the Technical University of Sofia that benefit from its expertise are Nuclear Power Plant, Bulgarian Energy Holding, Chess Group, Mobiltel, Vivacom, Telenor, Thermal Power Stations, Hewlett Packard Bulgaria, IBM Bulgaria, ABB Bulgaria, Lufthansa Technique, Liebherr Hausgerat Maritza, Berhela Thermocontrol, Visteon Electronics Bulgaria, VMware, Siemens, Ericsson, Microsoft, Daimler Chrysler, Orano Group, Desi, Ganil and many others.